Welcome to Nerd Rashi, and today I'm going to look at Viper, my first Combiner Wars figure, and my first Transformers purchase in over a year. Before that, I I grabbed a, a um, was it Soundwave? Yeah, Soundwave. And uh, then it had been way long, I think, since uh, Classics uh, Bumblebee had come out there, maybe after the first movie or so. So that, this has been my first purchase in a while, and of course it's in part because the Combiner Wars sculpt looks awesome, but also a uh, very big uh, factor in this is the G.I. Joe reference, which is quite plain right up front. You can see that there's the Cobra Air logo there, and, and, and some have said his face kind of looks like Wild Weasel. I actually don't think his face looks entirely like Wild Weasel or anything, but uh, the Cobra symbol there and the fact that he clearly is going to transform into a rattler it's pretty nice uh the name viper is a little weird uh but he could he's described as a drone on the back of his card so uh he's gonna work perfectly for that my neighbor chose just now to mow so if you hear that i do apologize that's gonna just lovely affect my quality uh, of audio but oh well oh well he can become a and uh, let's see, he's a quick strike attack drone who can take a pounding and keep flying, but he can become a weapon of sorts for Dead End. You can kind of see that here in the packaging. He can become a weapon for Dead End. That's way up there at the top. I can't squeeze it in. There he is. Um, but I don't have Dead End, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to do something that's probably a terrible idea. I'm going to try to transform him for the first time right here on this video. Um, so step one is to turn his head around. I actually, it, it looks so snug. I wasn't sure it was going to turn around, but sure enough, his little head will turn around right there. And then step two, uh, we're going to, it looks like flip this up or back or something. I don't know. That, that doesn't look right. Man, I really should have. Uh, so what does that mean to you guys? What do you guys think, huh? Um... I think that's part of the same thing. Looks like it's a flip up, but I don't see what I'm flipping up, so that's weird. Uh, but it does come apart, so that's something. Oh, maybe that's it. I'm taking it apart and flopping out the gear, okay. It would have helped me if I, I had seen that a little bit better, so I flopped out the gear here. That, that works. And it looks like I've moved it forward a bit too, and that works. And then I'm going to move the arms together, it seems. Arms together. So we got that going on. Then after I move the arms together, I'm going to rotate these wings down, or pull them down, not rotate. Just pull them down. You can see no wrist articulation here, but he does have good movement otherwise. And uh, he is the same height as a G.I. Joe figure, so that's pretty, pretty nice um, for that kind of double reference. And then we're going to slide these up here. So the funny thing is, is I'm not going to know how to get this back into the position it should be, probably. Um, then I'm going to squeeze his legs together. I'll squeeze his legs together. So, got that going. Oh, yeah, that isn't too complicated there. And I bet I just flop this down, and that's probably going to be about it. Right? Am I right? Uh, yeah, pull those out, it looks. Uh, these can go... These little feet here can go in. So we've got some wheels in the back. And then that is pretty much it. This is already up. So here we go. We've got a little Rattler looking uh, vehicle. I think maybe, uh, depending on how you want to look at it, the, the hands kind of bother me. They look like they're just kind of hanging there. I don't know that I see a way that makes them look right to me. There is alternative instructions on the back to show you how he gets to weapon mode from here, and I think these little this paint up this paint app here looks good for that. Um, it does look like there is a a slot for them right here, so you peg them in the slot. See the slot right there, and there we go. And then we've got a very nice rattler. Um, now, I only have a customized black Rattler. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's a P40 Warthog, I believe. 
is the name of the plane. Uh, but here, this looks perfect. It's going to go on my G.I. Joe shelf. It's going to be, you know, a little drone. I got, I'll probably put it with the bats, uh, that kind of thing. And I think it'll look nice. Let me just move this a little bit down. This is lower than a lot of the things I've been reviewing now that I've got it transformed. You can see all the way around it. Uh, it looks pretty nice. It's in that Cobra blue. You can, the, the Cobra logo is, is very clear here. Uh, it's it's what, what class is this called? The small, it's the small size. Um, I don't know what class that's called. I want to think Legend or Legend or, or something like that. I'm not a Transformers expert. And that's, that's maybe changing? Because I also have a box over here with Combiner Wars Megatron. Uh, the Loyal Subjects got me interested in some more Transformers and then Combiner Wars and then and, and meeting Mark Webber. Uh, at JoeCon, some great art here. Let's see if I can get it uh, just right so that you can see it here in the camera. Uh, was was pretty neat because he he's done some work on on Transformers before he moved over to GI Joe, and so this is of the smallest size, but these are very hard to come by in person. I ended up buying one for twenty. Uh, via Amazon, I found uh, some somebody had on their little Amazon store uh, a glob of these went up, and then I think they're already down again. Uh, but on eBay, you can see them go for thirty a lot of times, which watching on Amazon allowed me on a on a flash sale to get uh, the Combiner Wars Megatron at thirty five. So uh, this guy, I've seen him cost almost as much as I've paid for a figure that is ginormous in comparison. So is he worth it? I think so. Now, can I transform him back without looking at the instructions? That's the real test. Let me turn the turntable off here. That's the real test on whether you know your transformer or not, right? If you can not look at the instructions and get him back the way he should be. I'm not sure how... Oh, look at that. That'll come off moderately easy, so be careful there. Um, I'm not sure that... Uh, okay. that The same peg that his arm is going to peg into is going to peg into his chest there and he's very simple to transform i don't know that my kid could get him right away right now uh, but it's possible sorry for the closeness the camera is not probably going to autofocus on that perfectly but i wanted to put him back in this mode real quick so that i can show you his height with a ruler and then show you um, just a comparison with a GI Joe so just I'm gonna move it up just a little bit so you can see the top height and apologize for that movement so you can see the height here okay we've got this here so he's just about four inches a little over here and a little under at the head and if you want to put him up against here is a Marauder task force figure on one of those stands you can see he's just a little shy and then we uh, do this and those are equivalent to GI Joe's but since it wasn't an official GI Joe here I'll pull up uh, an, a 25th Hawk body that's been painted green uh, with a Marauder John head so you can see that uh, that's uh, a General Colton in progress actually kind of close to finished has been for a long time if you want to see him with one of the bigger Joe's here is the ultimate retaliation roadblock kind of see that he towers over him but he looks good as a drone if you're into any type of crossover not only could it be a rattler drone but he could actually be a transforming drone and have this uh, robot look to him but there you go you got viper i would have preferred they named him something like wild weasel or rattler or um something like that because viper is you know obviously the standard cobra trooper but there you go, you got him, I dig him, hope you do as well. You can see a little number right there um, underneath the wing. So, but I like that there's this nice red portion here, Cobra Blue and Cobra Red, uh, looking solid. I would give this thing a, um, so for the price, you know, that might, you know, it would be nice if it was a little, little cheaper. I remember buying Transformers quite a bit bigger of this for the price. So I got to get used to Joe as it slowly climbed. Um, and I got a little bit of sticker shock as I looked at some of the Transformer prices. I knew they had gone up, but I didn't realize how much. Uh, so back in the day, this would have been seven or eight or so, but I think this is normally supposed to retail for 10. 
but I think I think it's a good deal. That might be the uh, complaint for some, is that it's a little small for what you were used to paying for a few years ago, but that's in every toy line. And then the wrist, the lack of wrist, art wrist articulation or swivel arm battle grip type might take it a point um, down because those would have been cool. But again, for what you get, I think it's pretty awesome. I'd give this guy a nine out of 10, which uh, is pretty, pretty high on my list. I don't like to rate things too high. But there's just not a lot of flaws here. I I, um, I like giving props where props is due, but I also like giving constructive criticism. Uh, but since I'm picking out what I want to review, I, I tend to pick out higher on the scale. So if I was to compare it to the last Transformer I bought, which was a Pro Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Soundwave, I would probably give him a uh, 7 or 8. And I think I might have paid 12 or 13 dollars for him. He might have been on sale at the time, uh, something like that. But I would give him probably a, a seven or eight. But there's a little bit of a comparison for you there, so you can see something that maybe you have. And uh, with this, this sound wave here. So I, uh, yeah, all right. So if I was to give him a rating, I would rate this guy. Uh, I would. I, Probably would have rated Soundwave a, a 7 or an 8, maybe. He's not perfect, but he's still pretty good. But this guy gets a 9. Absolutely a 9. Um, just great. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you stay and check uh, out our other videos. And then uh, I podcast with my buddy Tom, as well as other folks on Nerd Ratio. So you can find that on iTunes. And then on our website, we have all kinds of people writing. I think I just got a new person writing... And I know Dave has an article coming up really soon as well, so uh, just check us out at nerdratio.com. All kinds of different forms of, of nerd culture, nerd pop culture entertainment for you to check out. Laters. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Nerd Ratio video. As you probably know, you can head over to nerdratio.com and find our podcast, written things, and more, like trivia images, links to all kinds of galleries, and links to awesome other friend sites of ours that will give you even more hours of entertainment. And certainly our podcast is available on iTunes and Stitcher, just Nerd Ratio. And that reminds me, my co-anchor Tom told me something very important recently I'd like to pass along to you. He told me about swag bucks. I know, I thought it was a scam too. I'll admit it. I was like, mm -hmm. but Tom looked at me, he said, dude, I make 75 bucks. Here's what I, I get a month and it's not a scam, give it a try. So I gave it a try and it was really good. So if you want to make some nerd money and get some purchases for Amazon, gift cards, PayPal, cash, things like that, and help us out at no cost to you, Email us at nerdratio at gmail.com and we can send you an invite. Once we send you that invite, what will happen is you'll just plug in, you'll have to fill out a few things and you'll get some points already. And then if you've got an open browser somewhere, if you've got a smartphone that you, you, know, you want to have on the side and just run some videos on, just like that extra uh, window in your browser, uh, it'll add up over time. And if we've invited you, we get a bonus for what you earn. It doesn't cut into your stuff at all, but for every uh, 10 points you earn, we earn a point. I'm getting ready to make some of uh, my first purchases with it. I've been saving up for some stuff, but we would love to use this, uh, these points as ways to get not only stuff to video review, but more uh, quality software and equipment and do things like that so we can improve. Uh, but it's an easy way to help yourself get more nerd money, more fun money, and help Nerd Ratio too. So email us at nerdratio at gmail.com if you would like an invite to Swagbox. Easy, easy, easy nerd money. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.